time with Ayurveda, you can just, yes. Are you ready? Hello, I am with Dr. Potkey this morning, my Ayurvedic practitioner, doctor, teacher, friend. Um, and I had to come in and see her this morning. I am a 58 year old female. And after five years, I have started um, in a loving, wonderful relationship. But as a woman who's menopausal, um, I've noticed some changes in my body. And one of the things is in a relationship with, um, with my partner, I've experienced some dryness and some discomfort, um, some bloating, some cramping. And I called Dr. Potkey and explained these things to her. And I was able to come in this morning for wonderful treatment to um, apply hot oils to my body and particularly um, my um, pelvic area, my stomach and my hips to really start to regenerate and create a better flow of moisture in my system to um, help with the dryness that I'm experiencing, which then causes pain. Um, with Ayurvedic medicine, I believe that it is not an expense as much as it is an investment um, into my health. And my preference is to be healed rather than to maintain on synthetic medication a condition which will eventually cause a situation where I'll need more synthetic medication. Today, I feel very well relieved. My pressure has started to subside. My body and my mind are relaxed. And I believe that I can go on and continue to have a healthy and wonderful um, partnership and sexual relationship um, as I move forward. So I just wanted to share that with everyone this morning. So we are so glad to have you here. And uh, I think we did your uh, la Panchakarma last year, right? Yes. Uh, we had uh, your Panchakarma. And with that Panchakarma also, I have seen so many good changes in you. So the, the basically what I have observed during that time period is like you were so open to the concepts of understanding the, uh, the beauty of Ayurveda for your daily rituals, for your daily routines, through your diet, through your lifestyle. And, the, you know, every military person has something in their life. So you have taken it so positively after your retirement, right? Yes. And now you are bringing Ayurveda and following Ayurveda as a part of your journey, mm -hmm. right? Yes. With a positive approach, you are introducing Ayurveda in your in your own uh, rituals, yes. right? Yes. This is, again, Ayurveda is a ritual. Uh, uh, taking care of yourself is a ritual. Mm -hmm. Loving yourself is a ritual. So now you are in a, coming into the relationship that is also a beautiful ritual, right? Everything is like a kind of, if you want to see it, it's a practice. So when you are coming to Ayurveda, this is where I like to touch best all people that you can heal the mind, you can heal the body, you can heal your emotions. And this is again like, you know, in menopause, we have so many different things in the body. We are, and we don't talk about it. And uh, and being a lady, being a retired, being this and that, we have so many challenges on our physical level mm -hmm. as well as on our mental level also. So many times the physical, mental, spiritual and emotional aspects, they have to work together to have that happiness in the body. So you will find the happiness, you will find the bliss, you will find the joy, you will find the uh, the loving relationship, jo the joy what you're looking for at the age of 56? Eight. 58. 58. Okay, 58. So this is a beautiful thing. I'm very proud of you, the way you are molding yourself. You're, you're just keeping yourself busy with your app, I'm very happy that you are taking your good time and creating your own things and thinking about the veterans, which is a big thing in our country, yes. right? You want to bring this positive impact to yourself as well as others. And this is what Ayurveda is. Ayurveda is a science of Ayu means life and Veda means knowledge. So it's a science of life. Life of me, life of you, life of all of us. Mm -hmm. 
So what do we learn from COVID at this time? To stay well and treat each other well. To treat each other well. Yes. To, to connect with uh, uh, each other mm -hmm. and to take care of yourself so, to, so that we can take others. care of. Take care of others. Yeah. So there That's is a phrase important. in the Indian culture or Indian uh, uh, mythology mm -hmm. or in Indian uh, uh, spirituality that this whole world is one. We all are connected with each other, with the yes. with the supreme con universal consciousness as well as our individual consciousness. And in Jamaica, we say, "Out of many, one people." Yes, and that's the same thing. So they were kutum become means we are ultimately one. Yes. So the breathe, the air, what you're breathing, it's the same air I am breathing too. The same moon that you see, I see. The same moon, the same sun, the yes. same planets we share. Mm -hmm. So that's what we are learning from the COVID, that ultimately we are all breathing the same air. So yes. take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. And that is what Ayurveda is. Self-care, self-love, self-healing, self management, self-wellness. Mm -hmm. So if I am well, if I am doing proper things, and if I am following, doing good deeds, then it is ultimately going into the universal energy yes. and concepts. Yes. Any more questions for me for today's session? No, not at all. Thank you very much for seeing me this morning. I very much appreciate you always. <laughs> always. And always, it's a pleasure to share Ayurveda and yoga with all of you, where it is a little bit appreciated from people like you. <laughs> right? Yes. We need that eyes to see. We need that eyes to practice. And we need that eyes to understand the logics. Yes. Right? Because Absolutely. Ayurveda gives you a vision for your journey. Ayurveda gives you... Uh, and guide you who you are. It's an individual journey. Absolutely. It's an individual journey. Every time I come in here, I know it's just my treatment. Absolutely. It's just my time. Yes, it time. is only your healing. Whatever the oils we use today, whatever the herbs we use today, whatever the marma points we did during the whole massage session, that was typically meant for your opening the hip level area. Mm -hmm. You know, pelvic area, yes. the tilts, mm -hmm. and uh, managing the the right and left side of the body. That's where you're having pain, right? right? The so the yeah. so the rigidity, the tightness, the stiffness, all has to open because yes. muscle is getting developed uh, in the body after the plasma tissue, mm -hmm. or after the lymph, just for example, mm -hmm. and after the blood tissue. Then comes the muscle tissue in the body. Yes. So with the massage and steam, you are touching to the plasma tissue as well as the blood yes. tissue in the body. And the muscle relaxes and, and then flow. Exactly. Yes. And then with this kind of work, we are trying to bring the, the channel opening. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the steam, we are uh, with the oils, we are moisturizing mm -hmm. and supporting and nourishing the cells. And yes. with the steam... It to get inside. Yes. The and go into it. Good job. Yes. That's what I like from my clients. <laughs> Whatever they're learning, they're practicing and they're remembering. And remembering, yes. Right? Memory is getting sharp. <laughs> we need that being. I know what to think and what to do. And um, when I feel something I'm not understanding, then I know you're just a phone See, call. See, you are the. Yeah, you're the first person who is saying that after three vacations, after the cruising, mm -hmm. you did not gain the weight after vacations. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful thing. How much conscious you are living now. And it was a very easy conscience because I knew that it was my wellness that I was concerned about, not so much the weight gain. It was my wellness. What am I putting in? What I what is inside of me is what creates the energy inside of me. That's so pretty. Yeah. You See? bless what you eat before you bless your body with it. Yeah. So you remember everything from the detox program? Not everything, but most things. <laughs> if I don't directly remember, it's in my mind somewhere. And I, if I just take a second. And how it about, comes to me. Are you, you can also go through the books if... Yes, go do, back through the books yeah. because I 
me to do my yoga and I'm not so good at it. So maybe next time I'll sign up for yoga lessons. Okay. It would be nice. Okay. To have some instruction. Yeah. Okay. But you are practicing. You are doing your mantras. You are doing your chants. You, mm -hmm. The way I was massaging on you, we stopped the music. The, mm -hmm. the Google music, you know, relaxation. And we, you and me started chanting together. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Nobody did that until now. I chant all the time. Oh. Today was the first time in my 22 years of practice, you are the only client who tried to sung with me. Oh. So we chanted the mantras together on the music. <laughs> you did so well. I was so happy. I was so happy. Even if I were chanting another mantras, uh, you were chanting, you were keeping your tone, your rhythm, mm -hmm. your things, which was amazing. Oh, wow. You did awesome. And Thank I you. like the way you chant Om. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was a good session. It really was. I feel release. I feel release. Awesome. Anything else? That's good. Thank All you right. very much. So friends, we are always and always looking forward to share Ayurveda and yoga in an authentic way and traditional way. What happens is like most of the time, the physical body suffers with some other factors and we need to figure it out whether it is main the physical body or some other factors. And that's where the mana concept, the mind concept, the psyche concept, the, the energy concept comes in. And these are the subtle energies in the body we need to think in Ayurveda. I hope this is helpful for you to understand about the logics of Ayurveda and yoga to heal your mind, body and soul. This is Aruna Patki, doctor of Ayurvedic medicine, NCBTM beholder, a yoga teacher. I'm here to share my wisdom of knowledge with Ayurveda and yoga. Thank you. Namaste.